Moist Critical is tired of superhero movies. Let's find out why. This could be the most controversial video I've made since the time I debated bone in versus boneless chicken wings. <laughs> or I could be bone completely in, wrong bro. here. Bone in, bro. Bone in. It's not an argument. And it might just be an extremely cold, stale take. I'm really not sure. Could go either way. I'm just super tired of superhero content. Marvel shows, Marvel DC movies. I just don't get excited for them anymore. Superhero fatigue, I think is the term a lot of people use now. I think a lot of people are going through this and one benefit for me is I did not really get into Marvel until like two years ago, bro. I mean, the first time I really got into it, Infinity War in theaters was crazy. But after that, I really got into MCU like videos. I didn't even know what was going on. I was like, oh my God, who was Dr. Doom? Like I didn't understand who Thanos was, bro. But 2020 is when I really sat down and watched everything and like made sure I understood everything. So like the, that benefits me. So I'm I'm not fatigued. I feel like if, especially now, since the content isn't as good as we were seeing in like, like 2015 through 2020, where people are like gonna get tired of it. Like, I feel like I get tired of it in, in about five years if the content stays how it is now. Not that it's terrible, but like we know that it's been better at like, we know phase four how weak it was. Which I think is underselling it because it's not just being worn out from so much of it. It's being genuinely put off because so much of it's being shoved down your throat. It's more of a soreness from being face fucked by superheroes for Golly. so long. Golly! Marvel just unveiled like <laughs> 6,000 new shows and movies on the horizon here, and I've been asked my opinion on each and every one of them. It's just exhausting because it's like being asked to rate every individual noodle in a bowl of spaghetti. Yeah, it's a lot. I'm it's a lot to keep up with. And I think another problem is like, even though that we like a lot of superheroes, a lot of people's favorites are still going to be the favorites that they were, what, 10 to 15 years ago. You ask somebody their favorite superhero. Oh, it's Batman. It's Spider-Man. It's Superman. Like, not a lot has changed. Like, not me, because I feel like I'm more of a die-hard Marvel fan. Like, But like, most people would say like, yeah, just the, the big three, the big three. I don't know if that's the big three, but that's the big three in my eyes. There's nothing wrong with liking superhero content. Nothing at all. In fact, I still do enjoy watching it in the moment. Like, I have fun watching them, but it's not like I get excited. But there's nothing wrong with being excited either. You can have a completely different opinion from me. It's just I feel like everything for superhero content is pretty much the same these days. I feel like, okay, this is wrong and right. First of all, Marvel got a lot of flack for Phase 4. But I feel like it's the hardest they try to be different. They try to do something new. They still played it safe. Like Marvel, 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 Marvel. We do not want to see because it's the same concept like gore the god butcher he, he did nothing he, he was supposed to be a main aspect of that movie we need to see not only you guys be different but you guys focusing on storylines as well as being different like okay we, we let the directors take over more we that worked for multiverse of madness in my opinion and i also think that people had a lot of expectations going at after no way home but like yeah i'm talking entirely about marvel and dc I love The Boys and I loved Invincible. And those are both two superhero shows. Exactly. But, they're but those very are different. different from those the are Marvel different. DC formula. Those are very, different. That's why people very, like them. Very far removed from those two. To give you an example, every time Marvel or DC drops a new trailer for a show or movie, I'm always asked on stream to watch it and give my opinion on it. And I always draw the same conclusion that it was a pretty generic trailer that followed the same formula that they've been using for the last decade. And. To go even further, when I watched the Black Adam trailer on stream, I started to guess upcoming lines correctly, even though I had never seen the trailer. I mean, yeah, I'm not gonna lie, these superhero movies are starting to get similar, bro. And that's where I feel like we need to we need to draw a line. I don't know how we're gonna do it. Kevin Feige, I trust you. Uh, DC, I do not know what you got guys you guys got going over there with uh what's his name? Zavlar, what's his name? What is Warner Brothers doing? I don't even know if they are gonna be a thing. But like, we need to we need to start doing better, bro. You can be the destroyer of this world, or the savior, or you can be its savior. What a guess. Like this is not okay, bro. The hero. It got me. Instead, it got oh, me. Oh, I'm nuts! I'm nuts! Let's go! God, this is so fucking generic. It doesn't take a galaxy brain intellect here to piece together what the next lines are going to be. This wasn't exactly like JoJo's Bizarre Adventure Part 2 with next you're going to say this and it'd be really impressive. I think these were pretty predictable lines that yeah. most people could have seen coming. 
because all superhero movies basically have the same bones these days. They follow very similar structures. Yes. Every character. Yes, again, I feel like Marvel messed up the superhero movie guidelines, low key. With one another. And these lines in the trailers are always very similar. I have a feeling they're all written by the same team. They just like outsource it to the superhero trailer department because they always, I wouldn't be shocked. always, always pretty much play out the exact same. And again, there's nothing wrong with liking that either. I enjoy superhero movies as well. I have fun watching them. I leave happy. It feels good. And that's as far as it goes. There's nothing wrong with it being that level of entertainment. But it's getting to a point where I'm just really tired of seeing the same thing every time. Again, I, I can understand why. Like, going to see No Way Home and Thor Love and Thunder and Multiverse of Madness in theaters, those were my first theater experiences of superhero movies in a long time. Like, I saw Black Panther, Infinity War, and I think, like, Captain Marvel in theaters, but I haven't seen a lot of those in theaters. For, if somebody is seeing those movies for 10 years straight in theaters, we're gonna we're gonna get tired. They're gonna get tired. What, is it, what else can they do? Like, with Thor Love and Thunder, it's not a bad movie. Like none of the superhero yeah, exactly. movies they're shows not are bad. Like actually, shit, like dog shit. There's just but the argument is they're not bad because they're all the same and they all follow the same formula. I feel like the problem is they're not risking a bad movie. Like Eternals risked and it was a bad movie. But hey, you fail sometimes. I'm not. I'm not like you. You shot 35 projects and you missed on two of them. Like I'm not gonna be mad at you really. So many of them now, and it's hard to Miss. care. It also just seems completely aimless, like there's no goal for these movies anymore. In the beginning, it always tied back into like the Avengers and Thanos and all of that, which was cool, it gave it an overarching purpose. But now they've introduced like a million fucking characters into the mega mix here. They threw like 20,000 ingredients into a stew. Think about all the characters, bro. Like, my favorite character is Yelena. There's probably a bunch of people that are fans of the MCU that I don't even know who that is because they didn't see Black Widow or Hawkeye. Me at the theater seeing Yelena in a movie, I'd be excited. Other people be like, bro, what is this guy on? Like, I understand. I understand completely. And it's just a, an overload that you can't appreciate, or at least I can't. Uh, I, again, this is just about my personal opinion on it. I'm just pretty tired of seeing so much superhero shit. And I do watch all of it still. It's not like I'm boycotting or anything. I still do indulge and watch all of it, except for the shows. I cannot finish the shows. The only show I've actually been able to watch start to finish is Loki. The best MCU show, by the way. Just putting that out there. Only one I've enjoyed. All of the other ones I've dropped after like three episodes, they're so fucking boring and they're just always the same goddamn thing. I'm I like Hawkeye. Carbon copies I like of Hawkeye. One another, like just clones. No, I, I feel, feel like, like WandaVision, was kinda crazy I feel like WandaVision was kind of different too. I feel like WandaVision was different. I forget that I watch them. Like I have fun in the moment and then it's immediately erased from my memory like the Men in Black just kicked down my door to take it out with a That's Elijah. fair. No, I, I agree too. Movies that are just fun the, to All the movies that I saw in theaters, I wanted like to rewatch right away ride. because I kind of forgot. They're always constantly quipping making short little jokes with one another, undercutting the serious moments with humor at every step. See, I don't mind the humor. I'm one of the per people that doesn't mind the humor, but not every superhero should be like, not every person is just a funny guy. Like, I, I swear, like, why is every superhero just the, the funny? Like, no, that's not, that's not a thing. It's just hard to like get invested when you know exactly how all of these are going to play out. It's also just hard to care when it seems like there's no goal. One thing that really helped with Marvel in particular is all of it tied into the Avengers and getting to that in-game situation. Like, all of it had a big purpose, which I feel like it's completely lacking now. Like, I didn't even realize we were in Phase 4 or Phase 5 and now we're moving into Phase 6 or some shit. Like, I do feel like it's building up to something, but with so much stuff, it's hard to see what we're building up to. Because, like, if you didn't watch Loki Episode 6, like, you could have watched the first five episodes. If you missed Episode 6, you wouldn't even know who Kang is right now. So, like, it, it's hard to see what we're building toward to. Whereas in, like, the Avengers, we saw Thanos. And in Guardians of the Galaxy, we heard his name. Everything with the avengers we saw that group until the end now the group is this big we don't even know who's an avenger and who's not right now it's a lot it's a lot it's all completely worthless nonsense I, phase six now like who the fuck cares what happened in phase four or five like yeah there were some good movies there that i enjoyed but do they tie into each other is there is there an actual goal I, we're in phase five now i think they necessarily have to be tie-ins it'd be fine if they're their own standalone things but if they were actually unique with a like an interesting yeah, identity, but I they're think, not. 
they don't tie in, yet they still follow the exact same formula. I agree. It's, I don't know. It seems completely aimless. Like, if we bring Deadpool to the MCU, Deadpool's gonna bring something different. We know that. If it doesn't, we might have to, we might have to boycott a little bit because it's Deadpool. It's Deadpool. We're not, he's not supposed to be like, like, he, his point is to be different. And then if we get the Fantastic Four and we get the X-Men and they're just the Avengers too, it's a problem then. It's a, like, bro, what are we doing? We saw that for the last 10 years. We need to switch it up. Like, you know, I'm, I'm gonna turn into a keyboard warrior. Marvel, you need to change. Like, we gonna turn into the uh, re restore the Snyderverse people. Like, now one other thing I'd like to at least bring up here in reference to all this is that this Marvel slash DC superhero formula is something that's really infected a lot of other movies and shows because they're trying to emulate that same formula. I give you an example, the new Dungeons and Dragons movie coming out, they dropped the trailer. I felt like I was watching a Marvel trailer. They took all of the same beats that the superhero movies and shows do and translated it to D&D. So they basically just took a Marvel movie and gave it a D and D skin. Exactly. When I'm watching the trailer for stuff like Ghostbusters, when I'm watching the trailer for stuff like Godzilla versus King Kong, and I saw that movie, these movies follow the same formula, and it's like we do not need to see that. My friend was just telling me how he watched the Planet of the Apes trilogy, Matt Reeves directed, and he was amazed. And it's like those movies, I can understand why they would follow the formula. It's it's going great. Right right now for Marvel. But when you do something different and it works, it's just so much better. The Batman, for example. The reason that that movie was so hyped up is because everybody was like, this is different. Different is good and it can be bad, but you have to take that risk. You have to take that risk. They were just very much going for that big spectacle stuff that Marvel's known for while putting jokes into it at every single step. And we don't want to so see that. We it. don't want to like, see not that. Not every character needs to be Tony Stark. This all started because Tony Stark Tony was such a Stark popular worked. character, and he had great writing. He we had can great switch jokes, it up, he had though. Great lines. But he was really the only one doing those jokes and those lines in that movie initially. No, I remember watching Avengers in theaters, the first Avengers, and I was like, Iron Man? That's my favorite character. That man's funny. I didn't walk out of that movie saying, no, Thor is funny. Iron Man's funny. Uh, Hulk is funny. I, I I said Iron Man. That was his That was his thing. And it's not a problem. Like, Yelena is my favorite because she's funny. But not everybody has to be funny. That same personality trait to all of their other characters Thor, I do think, started as like goofy jokes and stuff like that, so I wouldn't necessarily say that was influenced there. But bringing it forward into every other character, they kept taking little elements of that and putting it into those characters where it didn't need to be. It, it just, in fact, I think it detracts from it. E not every character should be joking all the time. Like that, that just doesn't make any sense to me. It, it's too much, and just in general, too much of superheroes overall. I really think they need to dial it back a little bit and give themselves a little more time to let it cook in the oven and deliver something more tasty, something better than what we're currently getting because it, it feels like it's just written by a bot now. He's right, Marvel, we gotta get it together. Marvel, DC, DC, DC's been on a roll. I'm not gonna lie, not everything has been the same from them, but I can see where you get that from. It's definitely the same kind of humor. Like Peacemaker was different, but the same. They just, it was the same, they just used curse words. And I feel like, yeah, they, it's kind of disguised. You feel me? If you enjoyed this video, here's a video just like it. I appreciate you for watching.